Shut up and sit down. Hello folks and welcome back. I am Bruce and today we are going to be talking about some of the features of the new release of Tableau 10.5 beta version 2. It is December 1st, 2017 and if you are a Tableau customer, it's available today for download so you can take it for a test drive yourself. I encourage you to do that after you look at this. So without further ado, let's get cracking. Some of the features that we are not going to discuss today in detail are the new Data Engine Hyper. It is replacing TDE as the data engine in the newest version of Tableau, and man, is it fast. I'm sure somebody has a video out there, at least from the Tableau conference, if not a live demo comparing Hyper to TDE. Hyper wins every time. Large data sets, complex queries, it's a breeze. I'm really looking forward to seeing how well that works. Other features we have that we're going to look at today is the VizIn tooltip. So, Without further ado, let's take a look at VizIn Tooltip. Thank you. To highlight the VizIn Tooltip feature, we're gonna look at two different workbooks today. I've got a couple data sets on North American ski resorts, and if we explore the data, we can see that we can select a state and a resort within that state, and it will show the weekly snowfall totals by ski season. In order to look at the Vizin tooltip feature, however, we're gonna take a look at that information plotted on a map. For example, Big Sky Resort, we can look at lift ticket prices, elevation detail, and other attributes of the resort. What we wanna do is throw a couple vizs in that tooltip to spice it up. First thing we're gonna to have to do is create the viz or vizs we want to put in that tooltip. And we've created a snowfall trend sheet that we will add. And we are going to look at daily snowfall by season. As many of you know, the ski season bridges years. So this year's season is the 27, 2018 season. We had to do some data prep to get it in this format. And we are going to eliminate this current year because there, there's not much snowfall detail. Handle the nulls. What we are left with is an annual snowfall trend. The filtering will be done on the visualization in the tooltip. So for now, we've got to insert that. Just like we would for any other tooltip element, we have to figure out an insertion point. And the first option we have now is sheet. We have created the worksheet we're gonna put, snowfall trend, and it will appear in our tooltip with a few things that we can modify. Max width, max height, and filter. If we okay that and we hover over, now we are looking at a yearly snowfall trend for that resort. Now with the help of a little formatting, we can see that our visualization appears as we hover over each resort that has snowfall data underlying it. Not only are we able to add one, but we can add multiple vizs. I've prepared another one which shows a trend of base depth over time for resorts. Let's add this to our viz and see what it looks like. Now that we've added our second viz, we can hover over any resort and see the trend for base depth and annual snowfall. You can see that this is filtered to the level of detail of our sheet. We're gonna take a look at a second example and see how we can change this level of detail. The second example we're gonna look at for our VizIn tooltip is based on Superstore data. Let's start out by mapping sales by city. We will uh, size that by sales, color by profit ratio. Now when we hover over any city, we can see sales and profit ratio. Once again, we're going to create a sales trend that we can put in our tooltip and in order to do that let's look at sales and we will look that over order date and we'll select that to be monthly sales data and there's our monthly sales trend just as we did another other example we will find an insertion point and insert that sheet into our tooltip now, when we hover over a city, we are able to see a sales trend for that city. We talked earlier about some of the things we can modify in that VizIn tooltip. We can look at the max width, max height, and this little pesky thing called filter. Currently, it's set to all fields, which is giving us essentially the same level of detail that we have on the Viz that we are using the tooltip for. We can change that. For example, if we want to filter that trend by state, we change the filter to state. Now, anytime we hover over a city, 
we are showing sales by state rather than the detail of the city. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration today. If you did, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. We will be posting content every week. Stop back and thanks again, folks.